In this video, we're going to focus on the properties of certain angles. Sometimes two or more adjacent angles together form a known angle. For example, a right angle of 90 degrees, or angles on a straight line of 180 degrees, or angles around a point of 360 degrees. In all of these cases, we can always determine an unknown angle by making use of all the given known angles. For example, if we know that angle B2 is 76 degrees, we can calculate that angle B1 then has to be 23 degrees, so that they add up to form the known 90 degrees. Or, if we know that angle R3 is 150 degrees, and angle R2 140 degrees, we can determine that angle R1 should be 70 degrees so that they all add up to 360. It is then important to remember that you need to supply a reason for each of these statements. So that will be right angle, angles on a straight line, and revolution. With the knowledge that we now have about angles on a straight line, we can derive a new property when two straight lines intersect. Let's say we knew that angle R1 was 140 degrees. Then, using angles on the straight line MN, we can calculate angle R2 as 40 degrees. Similarly, using straight line PO, we could have said that angle R4 should also be 40 degrees. And continuing like this, we can say that focusing on line MN again, along with angle R4, which is 40 degrees, angle R3 then has to be 140 degrees. Note that the angles opposite each other are equal. R1 and 3 are both 140 degrees, and R4 and R2 are both 40 degrees. This will always be true when two straight lines intersect. When using this property in calculations, you need to supply a reason, and that will be vertically opposite angles. Note the small difference between opposite angles in a polygon and vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles touch each other and have a common point. Let's have a look at how we can use these properties in calculations. In each case, determine the size of x and or y. In example 1, we need to get the size of angle x. You can see that all three angles together lie on a straight line and therefore should add up to 180 degrees. So, angle x plus the 60 degrees plus the 75 degrees should equal 180 degrees, and the reason for this is angles on a straight line. Remember that you need to supply a reason like this for every statement you make. Now we can solve x by taking the 180 degrees, subtracting the 60 degrees, as well as the 75 degrees. Whatever is left will be the value for x, so x is 45 degrees. In example 2, we once again need to solve x, but this time we have information about all the angles around the same point G forming a revolution. Therefore, we can say that x plus the 70 degrees plus the 80 degrees and also adding the 130 degrees should equal 360 degrees because this is a revolution. All the constant values on the left add up to 280 degrees. So, to solve x, we're going to take that 280 degrees and subtract it on the right-hand side. Therefore, x will be equal to 80 degrees. In example 3, we are going to calculate the size of x by recognizing that these are two straight lines intersecting which means that the vertically opposite angles are equal. Immediately, I can write down that x will also be 48 degrees, and the reason for this will be vertically opposite angles. In number 4, we need to solve x and y. 
always ensure that you read the instructions properly. Sometimes they can ask you to answer in alphabetical order, which means we have to determine X first. If we start off with X, you will see that X is formed by two straight lines crossing, which means we have vertically opposite angles. This means that X will be the same size as the angle vertically opposite, which consists of two small angles. So to determine X, we will have to take the 50 degrees and add the 65 to that because we have vertically opposite angles and that means that x is 115 degrees. And now that we know that x is 115 degrees, we have two options of straight lines that we can use to solve y. If you focus on the straight line KL, we know that y plus x should add up to 180 degrees. So y will be 180 degrees minus the 115 degrees of x because they are angles on a straight line and that means that y is 65 degrees.